All right, let's take a look at solving a systems of equations by substitution. Um, but let's, let's this time, let's look at an actual situation that somebody might be in where they would use a system of equations uh, to solve a problem. So in this case, uh, we have two young entrepreneurs, Natalia and Nick, and they would like to start a business selling bracelets. They have $405 to spend and they want to buy 165 total bracelets. They will pay $2 each for men's bracelets and $3 each for women's bracelets. Now, you'll notice that there's no question here. So, I would love it for you to pause the video for a moment and think about what, what, what have I given you and what could you do with this? Okay, so, um, hopefully you've had a chance to read through and think about this. And if you haven't, please pause the video and do that. And if you can write something down, that would be even better. This is your chance to try to exercise your brain cells. Okay. Um, if you're ready, I'm going to begin to talk. Um, one thing that we could do is uh, we could write out equations that represent the situation and then try to solve using substitution. Um, we're going to need two equations. Um, oh, by the way, what is it that we want to know here? Let's start with that. Let's call the first thing that we want to know x because x is something we don't know. It's a variable. Um, and what would x be in this situation? Again, uh, what is it that we don't know that we'd like to know? Pause the video for a minute and see if you can figure that out. Take a moment and think. Okay, uh, I'm hopeful that you took a moment and thought about what, what is it that we'd like to know that we don't know? And hopefully you described what you wrote down on your paper, what x is equal to. If you haven't, pause the video and try yourself, please, just for a, a, a few minutes. Think about it. Okay. If you've had a chance to think about it and you've tried writing something down, let me give you my take on it. Um, I would say that based on the information we have here, one thing is, is we might be interested to know how many men's bracelets we could get and how many women's bracelets we could get. Um, and so I'm just going to say X is equal to the number of men's bracelets. And please, you write this down right now too. X is equal to the number of men's bracelets. What I'm trying to let you in on is a secret for how people begin to attack word problems and how people get better at solving word problems. This is the beginning of it. Figure out what the variables are. What is it that you don't know that you want to know? And then try to write the definition of it. So in this case, Y could be the number of women's bracelets. And by the way, there's no reason why we couldn't have done this the other way around. We could have, and I'm going to use ditto marks for the bracelets if you don't mind. This, these two marks means just copy bracelets. Um, so there's no real reason why we made X for men's and Y for women's. It would have worked fine the other way around. And we didn't have to use X and Y. We could have used A and B. We could have used M and W. We could have used any variables we wanted to. All right, let's try some different color just to make things fun. Um, next thing is let's make an equation that relates some of these things together. Um, for one thing, um, we have a $405 to spend. So I'm going to say $405. And uh, each bracelet is 2 or $3. And the number of men's bracelet is X. So if I want to know the total amount that I can spend on men's bracelets, it's going to be $2 times the number of men's bracelets. So it's going to be 2 times X. And if I want to know the number of um, uh, women's bracelets, or the amount that I can spend on women's bracelets, it's going to be $3 times the number of women's bracelets. So I'm going to add this together, 3 times Y. This again would be the amount that I spend on men's bracelets, and this will be the amount I spend on women's bracelets. And they should add up to the total amount that I have. Um, that, that they, they have to because I don't have any more money than that. Next thing, um, I want 165 bracelets. The good news is I've already written down my definition of my variables. And what I've decided is X will be number of men's and Y will be number of women's. If the total is going to be 165, it's going to be 165 bracelets will be equal to the number of men's bracelets plus the number of women's bracelets. Now, hopefully you can see that substitution would be a good way to solve a problem like this because 
we are now in the situation where um, we could easily get one variable all by itself. I'm going to call this guy equation 1, and I'm going to call this guy equation 2. And you can see the numbers are bigger, but that's okay. We're not afraid. We're not, we're not, we're not afraid. We'll just go for it. So uh, this, since the other examples got y all by itself, I'm going to get x all by itself. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as uh, x equals 165 minus y. That's equation number two, so I'll label it. And, uh, and then I'm going to substitute 165 minus y in place of x. So we're back to equation number one, and it's going to be 2 times whatever x is plus 3y equals 405. And then whatever x is, uh, it's this, and I'm going to switch colors. Um, let's see here. So that'll be 165. Ooh, it's going to be a little tight writing this in there, minus y should have left myself a little more space okay so anyways let's let's finish this so then we do the math we're going to distribute the two um, I think this is like 320 plus 10 that's 330 uh, m 2 times negative y minus 2y plus 3y um, if you have a calculator and you want to make sure you get this right, add negative 2 plus 3 to figure out what number goes in front of the y. So that'll be uh, 3, 30 uh, plus y equals 405. And then we go ahead and subtract 330 from both sides. So that gets us y equals um, 405 minus 30. I think that's like 75. And I'm going to go ahead and circle it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll plug that in <clears throat> to back into this equation here and we'll find what x is. So x um, should be equal to uh, 165 minus 75 and I believe that gets us x equals 90. Something like that. Let me make sure that looks like a 90 and not a 70. And so supposedly, oh, oh, oh and, and again, oh, for word problems like this, we're less concerned about the ordered pair, but I'll write it out anyways. The, the answer is kind of 90 comma 75 with parentheses, you know, box that answer. But really, that's not the answer. And, and by the way, you'll notice there is no question. So we don't even know what answer we're supposed to give. But I will say this, is that uh, the answer should really look something like this. Um, we can buy uh, 90 men's bracelets. That's, that's, that's the goal of this math. We can buy 90 men's bracelets. And uh, <clears throat> 75 women's. That's the point of this math. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that.